Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with this dude who you probably don't know because this is Corey from Fitman Industries. Uh, he's actually our graphic design lead for those guys over there. But you guys requested that more Fitman Industries and over here too, yeah. You requested that more Fitman Industries people be in these videos. So we're doing another episode of From the Gallery where we have Taylor who sits in the back and does gallery stuff, pick five trucks, and we go through them and rate them on a scale of one to 10, one being me and 10 being wow that's super cool give me that i want to drive it i want to own it all Sounds right like i could do that and you're not necessarily a truck guy so we'll see how this whoa, goes whoa. i own a pickup truck you you have a trailblazer no i also have a 95 chevy 2500 oh, that's right i forget about that one but primarily your good vehicle is the shelby yeah so yeah we won't get into details if it's a real shelby or not that's a, that's another video it's real I all right yeah you always say that so first vehicle 2016 Ram 1500 running the Anthem Gunner 20 by 10, negative 24s, General Grabber X3 35 by 12 and a half, and a Bilstein leveling kit. No rubbing, no scrubbing, minor plastic trimming. I like it, I think I it's a great it's look. Sick. It looks super meaty. All right, so what we'll do is then we'll pick a number and then you can explain your reasoning why. This, this is kind of a poor example. We like to see lots of gallery ads with lots of pictures. This one only has one, so we got one picture to go off of. Luckily it's decent quality, three quarter angle, got the wheel turn, so it looks like he might be some more of a semi-professional here. Do you got your number ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Whoa. Whoa. That was weird. All right. So I went with the seven because it is a, a very clean look. Uh, I like how he didn't go overboard with the headlights. So he has halos, but I actually don't hate it. I usually don't like those on trucks because yeah. they seem like overwhelming, but just running with that soft red in there looks pretty decent. And then he really has a nice wheel and tire setup stuffed in there. Doesn't stick out too far, so you're not gonna worry about like ruining paint and things like that, but it's still a really aggressive look. I agree. I don't know if it's the color of the halo that he has selected, but I think that the halos look really classy and complement the truck nicely. Which doesn't usually happen. Yeah, not, not frequently at all, especially when you get the cat eyes and they have the four. We won't get into that, but <laughs> anyways, I think this truck looks super clean. I, I really like the 35s. Yeah, 35s on a leveling kit. I think it mm -hmm. really fills out that wheel well. Um, and I like how, how meaty the tires are on the, tr or on the wheels. And I like the directional look of those Anthem wheels a lot too. I think the Anthem wheels give it a nice, really hearty, yeah, that like off-road, rugged kind yeah. of look. It's kind of the whole Anthem brand. General Grabber too is a pretty aggressive tire. Um, some people will complain about them and don't like them very much, but I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews. It's Can't called say a one Grabber. How can it be bad? I, I did have one experience in snow with them that was not that good, but other than that, I don't have any experience, so. All right, we'll take their word for it then. Big change up here. So 2016 GMC Sierra 1500, fuel forged, very expensive, FF66s, 24 by 14, negative 76 offset. You car guys don't know anything about that. Free off-road Country Hunter MTs, 37 by 13 and a half, with a 10 inch McGoy suspension lift. And it looks like he's got a little bit of squat. Cali so lean? the back is a little bit shorter than the front. Is, that, is that still called the Cali it's lean or is that Cali squat? Lean, Carolina or? squat, I mean there's- Carolina squat, I like that. Yeah, there's a million names for it. So set at 10 inches in the front, slight rub, minor plastic trimming. 37s on 10 inches of lift. All right, you got our number? Yeah. Three, two, one, Eight. 10. Wow. Full blown 10. Wow, why this? 10? <sighs> why not 10? Why not 10? Because of the Cali lean. No. And on this truck, it's I'm, good. I do agree. It's from Texas. It doesn't look bad on this truck. I just don't get it. Like why, why roll down the road like that? It doesn't really make any sense to me whatsoever. I went with a 10 because I love the GMC Sierra probably more than I love a Silverado because they're just classier and the interior is a little bit nicer looking usually. I know it's, you know, GM owns them both, but they usually have like nicer options. But he does a really good job at tying in chrome door handles, chrome mirror caps, chrome steps, chrome grill throws in the polished forged wheels, just pulls it together, really nice, clean I think it's truck. the thin, thin spokes on it that are throwing me off. That's the whole every, point of a forged design. I know, I know, and I know I'm gonna get flamed for saying it, but I, the truck is big, it's meaty, it's blocky, and then you just got these little thin, I'm just, we're just throwing it nah, off. we're just going to the I'm next sorry. one. I'm over, I'm over you. Oh, here we go. Oh. Of course, we got the Rebel Flag license plate on this 1999 <laughs> Chevy Silverado 1500. On the XD, XD778, 20 by 10, negative 12s. Wow, only 20 by 10s, uh, but he's got 44s. It's not something you see every day. No. And uh, he has a wheel turn. Yeah. Which is impressive. And it looks like it, it sort of fits in there. 
So custom suspension. Oh my gosh, 18, 18 inch inches lift. of lift. He says he has minor plastic trimming, but I feel like there's just many, many pieces that just aren't there. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it plastic trimming if you just remove all of it? <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing, this thing is huge. I like the cat front license plate on the other picture. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least he, he uses it. We've Wait, got a couple what? pictures off-road here. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. It would this, make me sound really dumb. To clarify, the truck has 18 inches of lift and the tires are actually 46 inches tall. And he also has an inch and a half wheel spacers. With a very loud sound system, turbo 350 trans, manual 208 transfer case, 513 gears. All right, you got a number? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, four. 9.2. What? <laughs> 9.2? That is a truck doing truck things, being a truck in a truck environment. I did not expect that out of you. Yeah, I don't, so I want the four because it just, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. It's just not my style. I'm too short to get into this. You're like six foot seven and I'm like five foot four, yeah, so. I, I would just need to hop on my tiptoes. And... I, I need a ladder to get in this thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. That is the step side. Not a huge fan of the tail lights, and I, I just can't use this. All right, let's grab the next one. So, oh, this Ooh. is different. Yeah. 2013 GMC Yukon, motor metal 970s, very, very popular wheel. 20 by nine plus 18 offset, needle trail grapplers, 35 by 12 and a half, and the FTS lift seven and a half inches there. No rubbing, no scrubbing, minor plastic trimming. This is another one where we only got one photo. So if you want to add your vehicle to the gallery at customoffsets.com forward slash add, make sure you add multiple pictures because we love to see. Multiple good pictures. Yeah. Because we also like to use those pictures in advertisements. So you'll probably get featured. There's a good chance of that. I think just about every vehicle gets featured in ad at some point. And if not that, we'll at least share it on our Instagram. You ready for this one? Yep. This one doesn't take a whole lot of overview. Nope. Ready? Three, two, one, eight and a half. Six and a half. Wow. You went way higher than I thought you would. I love SUVs. I don't know why. But same. I. I thought that we were gonna like. No. Mm -mm. So it's another I, GMC and it's a Yukon. If it was Denali, that'd be perfect. See, that's why. If it had the brown interior, that's that'd almost be perfect. why I was a little harsher on it because I love the GMC, I love the Yukon, mm -hmm. and I love the the wheel and tire and lift kit setup he has. I just wish he would have carried it like throughout the truck. Like I wish he had an aftermarket grill, maybe some aftermarket headlights. Because yeah, you could clean it up a little bit. Like this body style GMC Yukon is not my favorite. Mm -hmm. The new ones are sweet, yeah. but the new ones are $100,000 optioned out. So like, if you're gonna go for it, like go, go buy, big. buy an Escalade, yeah. do this to an Escalade. Yeah, like that was kind of my thought process. It's not that I didn't like the car at all. It's just that I thought he could have gone harder. Yeah, but it's still an SUV. You gotta, yeah. you gotta bring your, your kids to the mall. You gotta go grocery yeah. shopping. You gotta pick up the little one from soccer and you can do it all in this while looking cool. Whoa! Ho, ho. Of course what you're excited. What were we talking about earlier? Of course you're excited. Get them slanty boys on a Silverado. <laughs> so it's a 2002 Chevy Avalanche. Intro wheels, spiders, staggered. Oh my, 28s. 28, 28 by 10s in the front, 28 by 12s tucked in the rear. Negative 44 offset, 12 wide, still tucked. He's not rear. even tucking like vertically, he's tucking horizontally too. Yeah. He is. All of he's it. He's just full blown wow. And it's uh, on air as most. I wanna know what the bed looks like. Um, oh Ooh. my gosh, look wow. at this. Wow, there's a lot of work here. Full full Wait a minute. Twin turbo. Do you see that? Yeah. That's twin turbos. <laughs> yeah, there's your bed. Uh, nothing left, nothing usable. <laughs> the crazy thing is like from the front, it just looks like it looks like somebody took off the wheels and yeah, put it on blocks just, and put yeah, it on the ground. Put the whole thing on the ground. This is sweet. He's missing a couple body panels. Twin turbos. So the Fitman Industries side of me is going, oh, he's so close to being Fender to lip. But yeah. then the truck side of me is like, whoa, that's wild. He must have a pretty decent amount of interior stuff too, because like I can see yeah, the you... aftermarket steering wheel, and most people don't just do a steering wheel, so I'm sure he's got plenty of other stuff done to that. Kind of work in progress yet, missing some headlights. Bed unusable, missing some no, that bed cladding. That bed has been used to full potential. Well, it's been used, just not for what you normally do. <laughs> Wait, is does full he custom just, plate does he just chassis. run no headlights? Is that his Maybe turbo that's his thing. I love that he did it with an avalanche. Wow. That's such an odd choice. Yeah. So people got mad when we did our avalanche because we lifted it with six inch rough country lift and put 35s on it and off road it. have slammed it. Put holes in the fenders. And then I see this. I can only imagine what people would do if if they got a hold of this guy. The good news is nobody can catch him because his truck is going to do yeah. 200 miles an hour. All right, you got a number? On a slow day. Three, two, 
one eleven. Eight and a half. So I would go, I went with eight and a half. I would go higher if it was like finished, finished. Cause I think this thing would be a crazy showpiece. You know, I can, I'll bump up to a nine. It's one away from So what points. do you think he's missing? Headlights. But we just discussed that they're not missing. But you can't. They're purposely misplaced. No, they're missing. <laughs> and the body panels, the cladding, this plastic stuff that goes around it. I'd What's really throwing me off is like the giant seat. gaps in between the wheels and the fenders. Yeah, so fitment could be polished up a little bit there. Also, what does he got for tires? So he's got probably, probably Scorpions, but I feel like with the 28, with that much power, you you still have no traction. Yeah. But and like, if you're gonna make a fast truck, like if this was like Hunicorn, for example, oh, give me that all day long. I don't think you make a truck like this to go fast though. I think you make a truck like this to be on the highway at 60 miles an hour, put your foot down, and put S's all the way down the left lane. Explain in the to me these two turbos and tell me this is not made it, to go. No, fast. it is designed to make power. It's not designed to go fast. Nobody builds the fuck out of an avalanche and then slams it, and then they're like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go really fast. We're like, no, I'm here to make a statement. All right. All right, I think that's, we've just had enough of this for today. Let us know what you think about this Avalanche or any of the other trucks down below. If you want your vehicle featured, first off, it has to be in the gallery, customoffsets.com forward slash ad. That's how you get it in there. Then drop the link below and we'll check those out or send them to us in an email or a DM or however you want to contact us, Carrier Pigeon, we got it all. You can send it, we'll check it out. We'll get it up on the video. Maybe, hopefully, about 47 million of you have asked. So we'll try to fit as many as we can. Like, share, subscribe, peace.